how much is four pumps per day of androgel uh, 1.62% equal to in comparison versus the standard average recommendation of TRT injection, which I believe is 100 to 200 milligrams per week. There is no conversion from topicals to injections. When you go to injections coming off a topical, you're essentially starting from scratch. Again, going back to pharmacokinetics, there are four things that are the primary mechanisms of pharmacokinetics or, or PK as we call it. It is the administration, it is the absorption, it is the metabolizing of the medication and then the excretion of the medication. And that changes everything when you change the form of administration, which is the first step of PK. So when I change from a topical over to an injectable, I am completely changing the rate of absorption. And that is to be seen with each individual patient. Pharmacodynamics, as I said, is the opposite. It is what the body does to the drug. Pharmacokinetics is what the drug does to the body. So what we need to do now is we need to assess the patient from scratch. We need to figure out what's that drug going to do to his body and then what's his body going to do with the drug. How quickly is it going to excrete the drug? How quickly is it going to metabolize the drug? All right. So all of these things need to be assessed from scratch. There is no table or chart that tells you if you're using X amount of topical, you're automatically on X amount of injectable. The only data we can kind of slide over is, well, what were your lab values on your topicals and how did you feel at those lab values? And even that I would take with a grain of salt, but at least it's a metric that could be considered. So you're not exactly starting from scratch, you're starting with a little bit of experience. With that said, I have to put this in there. Androgel is absolute junk. 1.62% water-based or alcohol-based topical, absolute junk. I know, Stephen, you're on creams yourself. I know a lot of guys are fans of creams. Personally, we know I'm not. I've also made a video explaining why I'm not a fan of creams. Uh, it lacks the control, and there's a lot of other disadvantages that I see. If you make it work for you, that's great, and I know you do, and I know you've been on it for years. Kudos for that. Those are much better. The compounded creams are much better. They are not to be confused with androgel. That androgel is absolute junk. I would not recommend using it at all. So congrats to the question asker for moving from androgel to, I assume, cypionate. But the short answer is there is no specific dose conversion. You're going to have to start from scratch, and hopefully your provider understands how to manage that correctly. Although I hope it's a different provider, because if you started you on androgel, that's a red flag right out of the gate. If you wish to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. And check out the links in the description of all the things I'm associated with. My ebook on compounded testosterone cream, multiple workout programs, Mizumi skincare, online pharmacy NP Labs, and a list of Amazon links to the supplements we recommend.